G'day, today we are going to play Yum Division section of Micro Factoria 2022. Alright, let's see if there's any new creative challenges we got for this one. Uh, let's go. Alright, so except robots that enter with one or more red at the start and end. Uh, with one or more at the end, at the start and end. And that have exactly one group, one or more consecutive sandwiched in between all right so one or more so we have to go start off we can probably shift a little bit more that way do you start off with a red if yes fine if not you're dying done point one Okay, question two. Do you have Do you have a blue? Is the next one is there a blue in there? If no dying. If yes, continue. Do you have a red? Yes, you live. No, burn. All right, I think that's it. Let's give this a go. Oh, someone disagrees. A red. Blue, so you're gonna pass because you've got red and then another blue. Sneaky. Okay. What can we do about guys like that? I guess the it's then. Alright, I guess it's just one more condition then at this point. So we go down. Uh, red. Red, blue, white. Do you have nothing left? If yes, pass. Do you have a blue? If yes, you burn. I think that's it. Feeling in the zone for this one. I <laughs> got that nice and quick. All right. We get for scanners. Oh, there's a higher difficulty than purple. <laughs> all right, let's go to the easy one. Remove all blues, then produce. Okay, so it's basically going to give me reds and then blues, or blues and then reds. So... So... Are you a blue? We circle figure out how many times this circles through. Right, it's it's to do with two reds in a row is the checkpoint that we need for this. It's because that's the thing that's not gonna come up at the end. So if we go, are you blue? And it says yes. We go stamp you red. Go back here. Are you red? Which should always be yes. There shouldn't be any case where we've got a white one that successfully makes it through. So I guess that's just, well, I guess it's produce. If there's no blues, it's a pass. Sounds like. 
All right, are you red? Yes. Second question. Are you red? Yes. So then we have to go red, red, pass. Because we have to return the two reds that we've just lost. Um, similarly, if we go are you red, yes, are you blue? I don't need to create a, a blue there actually, because I don't need to replace the blue with a red. I need to have only the reds. Are you red? Yes. I'm not even sure I need that one. I think I'd, it would just be that I go, are you red? Yes. And then it's... Stamp red there. Are you blue? Go back to the start. Do you have nothing? That. I think that's it. Looking good. Oh boy. Oh, I mean, I did move through those two pretty quick, so maybe I do need the punishing level for me. Except only, except only robots which enter with the same number of red on each side of their blue. Right, so it's always going to be reds on the outside, blue on the inside. So, when we start off, we only need to go... Do I have to regain? Do I have to give them back what they've taken, or...? sure about that. I'll assume no at this stage and then we can add uh, stamps if we need them. Okay, so the first assumption is that the first one is always going to be red. So we don't even need to put anything there because no one is ever going to go that way. Red. How do we make this count the same amount? It's a big board. But the thing is, this can be up to 29. So in theory, you could have 14 on one side and then one and then 14 on the other. So there's no way that you could just sort of build the continuality of that you've got to cycle down to potentially 14. So how would you... How would you get this to essentially be able to keep track of how many it had before it hit blue? And it feels like you do have to make it count. I mean, it's a huge board that we've got here. That does that doesn't seem right. It seems so complex. Something that I can do with blue. I'm gonna think if you if I added a blue stamp every time I hit a red. Uh, uh, Alright, let's have a look at the other one, because I am a new area open. I think on this one. Reverse the tape, then produce. So 
So again, you need to know how many of your ending with, because it can be up to 20, but they are alternating. I wonder if the alternating is the hint here. How would we work that out? And each time it passed through like a check, it could stamp, but all right. The alternating is probably the key on this one. So it's it's that the first thing that we do. No, the first thing we do won't be the opposite of the last thing that's on there. Because there's possibilities that say it starts with a red, it ends with a blue. There'd be two blues, but it could start with a blue, end with a blue, and then end blue and a red. So you can't just sort of do it trying to look for two that match. Couldn't even add two to the end. Could. All right. Could. So what if you went, say, that, check. That's fine, it's, it's a pass. So then we go down, down. If you start red, if your first one is red, we're gonna go reverse you with two blues. If you start with blue, we're going to reverse you with two reds. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shift you over here. Waste a whole chunk of space at the top there. And we're going to say, are you red or are you blue? If you're blue, we then send you this way. If we're red, we send you that way. And we go Firstly, we, we have to stamp you opposite. So with that one, we can stamp you like that. With this one, we can stamp you like that. Next check is are you red or are you blue? At that point, if you are blue, then you've finished. Because you've you've been two blues in a row. If you're red, we stamp you blue, we send you back here. Red, we stamp you blue we send you back here. I think. I think this works. Same thing on this side. Um, except it's down here and it's if you're red you head in stamp you blue. If you're red I think anyone should hit the, the white out here. No one should ever be empty because I've just gained another one. So those whites I don't have to worry about. Is that it? Is that right? Let's find out. All right, what do we got wrong? There's one blue. I think it's punched two reds. Is that way he gets punched to blue? Oh, there's no. He was actually. I think he was possibly right. There's just nothing on the floor. Dragon! A dumb way to go. That's <laughs> to, to build that and then sort of think I've screwed up and it's just I forgot to put a, an exit. That's oh, a relief. Okay. We beg, dare go back to this one. Think about the patterns. Sandwiches. 
except only robots that enter with the same number of red on each side of their blue. How do we have this count? How do we have this count? Like I said, we only need to actually be really counting the red. We just need to know when the blue comes up. But it could be as much as 14. So in, in this case, if we go, is red. Uh, I can't, that, that can't be right. There's no way that you've got to divide this out to 14 different tracks, 14 different scenarios to play this right. Got to somehow have this marker that it's using to, to count this. So if say you had, we'll go to the example it's got down the bottom, three reds. So you said, have you got a red? Yes. Have you got a red? Yes. Have you got a red? Yes. So you've just knocked them all off. So say if you added a blue, have you got a red? Yes. Add a blue to the end. Have you got a red? Yes. Add a blue to the end. Have you got a red? Yes. Add a blue to the end. Have you got a blue? Have you got a red? No. So now it swaps to blue. It means the reds would have to be even. Okay. So let's try and use this as an even amount of blues. An even amount of blues in that theory would work. So if we went start this guy he comes down 100% this first one's going to be red so we don't have to worry about um, the other two here eventually we might okay have you got a red yes you get stamped blue uh, you can probably get stamped blue and go up and then come around in fact, we probably do need to center this a bit more because now blue is involved in this. Have you got a blue? Yes. Have you got a blue? Okay, so then you hit the point. Basically, this first section is just getting rid of your first chunk of reds and then you hit blue. So then you go into the blues and this changes. So in fact, I actually think we need to move this even further because it's now this side that we actually are going to shift to. So we go to this guy. And he asks the question, do you have a blue? If yes, it's going to remove it. So basically it doesn't care how many blues it's got, it's done. And in theory, there should be no whites at this point because it needs to return to reds. So we now get to here. Do you have a blue? If yes, keep going through until we get back to the reds. Then, when we get to the reds, do you have a red? Yes. So firstly what we do is we re... we add a, a blue because we've just taken another red off it. We come down here and we ask it that question again. Do you have a red? If yes, we give you a red back. No, we give you a blue back. Sorry, give you a blue back. And we ask you again. Until we reach a point where we should then need blues. And you hit the end of the blues. So then the question is, do you have a blue? Yes. Next question is... Do you have a blue? Now this is where we've got to work out the answer to this question. Do you have a blue? If yes, if yes. And when you hit here, you are saved. If you hit here, then you die. Because this, the, the logic here should be, this guy up here, 
this guy up here is counting how many reds do I have and it's adding blues to the end of the line. So we know that, so for example, it doesn't matter how many blues. Actually, there's gonna be a problem here. If I've got say four on the front, two on the back, but we'll see if it catches that. If, if say there's like three blues on the front, actually, if there's any two even numbers, this won't work. If there's an even number, then it should work. Like if it's if if the amount of total of guys equals an even number, then they'll pass. If it's an odd number, then they won't. There's nothing that's going to divide these between two different lots. Let's see if I can sneak by or if it's going to fail on me. It's going to fail on me because a guy has four. Yeah. All right. So how do we get past this sort of? No way that we can really math out how um, how many times he's going to... How we can count how many times he's ever gone through this thing. Okay, um, so what we need to do How would we do it if we went, all right, so you get rid of the first three and we'll say again We're looking at this example here and we'll try and use the second example We say give him a blue give him a blue give him a blue. It's now not blue. So just get rid of those now we go to red are you red? Next one. There's no way to count. There's no way to just tell it to take a blue away at any point. So we can't just sort of say, well, you should now have an even amount of reds and blues. doing my head in. Let's go for one of the extremely hard ones. See if it's any easier. Yeah. Double each red and blue then produce. That does not seem anywhere near as complex as the other one. I don't get why that's... I mean, this feels like you'd just go guy, down, down, a blue or a red. If you're red... Then go blue, blue. Oh, wait, no, because then what you'd have to do is you have to know when you've reached the end. I feel like I'm missing something in terms of, like, counting in this game. So say this, this right here works for just sort of basically just doubling it. I mean, the question is just, is the next one, is the next one the same thing? So so you would go red, blue, double it, blue, blue, red, red. Then you would hit a second split. Uh, and that question would be that, and this one would be like that. No, that's the same thing. That. Is the next one the same color? No, is the next one a different color? If yes, then we go blue, blue. We go red, red. And we go arrow forward, arrow forward. If it's different, if it's the same color. No, there's something wrong there because if it's the first one to hit. If it's say, if it's an even number and it comes back around, it hits that, removes it, gives two more, then it's already into the, the next one. If 
it's the same color, then red, red, blue, blue. I don't think that's right, but let's um give it a run. Is that an acceptable outcome too? Just having nothing? Alright, talk to me about my problem here. Alright, so you only had one. I've also got this wrong and that they're doubling the wrong thing. That it is meant to be that they're keeping the same thing, so... That's... That's red, red. That's blue, blue. Blue, blue. It's red, red. Alright. What about? What about? You get rid of that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Go blue, blue, red. Uh, and make that just a straight line. Put that there. Put that there. Go blue, arrow, red. So the idea is that you get back one if you're if you're seen as a double. So if you come down here and you hit your red, you go great red. So you gain that straight back. It then asks the question. Is the next one blue? If yes, then you get the second red one to double up this red that you've already used. Then you get two blues to match, take that one. Then you come back down. Now say that was your last one. You hit red, then you hit red and you get two. If you've only got one and you hit that, and that's now the only thing that you've got, then you'll get given a second one too. I think that's right. No, already wrong. What have I got? The goal is two. But he loses that other one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so maybe I need the two here. Hopefully it's that simple and I've... And the rest of the math all works out. No. He gets his red back. He checks. He gets his red. He gets his two blues. He now goes down and he just has to go out. He loses one. He gains one. And now his goal is now back to front. Yeah, it can't have been as easy as, as I hoped there. All right, back out of that one. Let's have a look at this guy. Smaller board, I like that. Except robots that enter with at least as much red as blue at the start of the tape and the end. I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something here. Um... I feel like I've got to go away and think about how to make these things do sort of like addition so that I know what I'm I'm coming in for. I mean, like, the boards are kind of big for these, but I, surely it's not that you're trying to be building this for all, all the continuities. Yeah. All right, well, we might call it there for this one. Um, while I ponder that, there's got to be there's got to be some way that you're that you should be able to count. I've got to work out in what way would I do this to count an amount so that I know to sort of like unwind that count later. That's it. I've only got a maximum of twelve as well. Didn't notice that before. All right, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. Any suggestions as well. I think at this point I'm willing to to listen. And until next time, I'll uh, catch you later. See ya.